From their years of dedicated service at a Vermont bed and breakfast, to the chance meeting with the gentle hippies who would guide them to superstardom, and their bitter courtroom battle with the gentle hippies, high-powered attorneys. Fish has proven that Birkenstocks and Backwoods know-how are a suitable replacement for musical talent. Their story is next on Behind the Music That Sucks. Growing up in his family's Tony Vermont bed and breakfast, Fish frontman Trey Anastasio entertained guests from around the world. Come here, Uncle Trey's gas from his hairy... Asking only for their gentle listeners' applause in return. A whole city folk likes to come up here and get back to the natural way of things. As fate would have it, Trey wasn't the only Vermonter. Nearby, the two sweetest men in the ice cream industry were fattening themselves on pint after pint of free-spirited fiscal frivolity. I had just signed Jerry Garcia to a lucrative promotional deal. But Jerry Garcia... Oh, inspired marketing from the wizard who brought you Boys Town Triple Packed Fudge! Jerry Garcia had a... Oh, this from the financial guru who graced the world with ooey gooey Alestra surprise? Jerry... Oh, and mint green piece beard crust was burned up the profit chart! One word. Kent State Raspberry Sidewalk. But Jerry Garcia had a prior engagement with a much bigger corporate sponsor. Jerry's shocking death left the state of Vermont in a state of shock. The ice cream guru's hearts melted as millions in revenue was buried like 300 pounds of decaying bearded gold. Ben and Jerry knew they would never again find such an appropriate spokesman for their fatty goodness until they saw Trey and his friends playing under the name Sons of the Soil. Our own soil. Hey man, well, you know, those groovy fish boys like represented Everything that we here at Ben and Jerry's hold near and dear to our hearts, you know? The peace-loving partners. Oh, yeah, like losing five million dollars on Cherry Poppin' Scoutmaster. The peace-loving... Okay, Mama Cass's vanilla suffer cake! The peace... Oh, let's not forget a little spasm of genius called John Popper Kiwi Do-Rag Squeeze. <laughs> Oh, Birkenstock nougat for anybody? Japanese dolphin chunk? Hippie drippings? The peace-loving partners renamed the band Fish and signed them to the corporate vanity label. The deal was done, with one very special exception. We signed because they said they'd make us up a ice cream. The Stephen Hawking Q Rembrandts of iced goodness soon emerged from the creaming vat with another frothy capitalist concoction. I Sure as heck do enjoy me a sack of this here milky flavored sugar snow sometime. With the lords of lactose behind the wheel, Fish was strapped to a runaway ice cream truck called Success. Trey was shocked to discover his benevolent bearded brethren had betrayed him. Weren't no chunks go in it! Dang! Trey and the band were devastated. Couldn't get liquored up on it neither. Dang! But their contract with Ben and Jerry was ironclad. You see this? In the state of Vermont, it is legally binding. Ben and Jerry may never work out their differences with the band. But Trey don't see them bearded types around here no more. But one thing is abundantly clear. Fish's lack of talent allows them to freely suck ass. 